For most of my career, patients who come with early arthritis are really just told it's something they're going to have to live with. Daily pain is a significant issue. There hasn't been much in the way of simple solutions that help them in the short to medium term. We've either had painkillers or big operations. What we want to try and do is get rid of their pain and improve their function for long periods of time. Most of the arthritis that we see is wear and tear arthritis, otherwise known as osteoarthritis. In osteoarthritis, there are really two places that pain comes from. One is the worn surfaces where bare bone is rubbing on bare bone and the nerves are being irritated. And the other is where there's an inflammatory component and some of the cells within the joint, the knee in particular, cause pain because they cause an inflammatory process within that joint. But once a mechanical injury occurs, the tissues in your joint and attempts to healing that start producing proteins that are signaling that something is wrong. And long-term exposure to those proteins actually tear down the joint further. And so the cells act upon other cells, so it is the cellular problem that also needs to be dealt with in patients, particularly with early arthritis. For five or six years now, I've been using a product called Enstride. So, what we're going to do today, Mrs. Thomas, is we're going to take some blood out of your arm. We take some cells out of the patient's blood and process that to extract some particular cells which reduce the inflammation and reduce the pain in a patient's joint. So we need to take about 55 millilitres of blood for each one, but that's about a tenth the amount you give if you give blood. Just, just keep squeezing and unsqueezing, that's brilliant, well done. We're going to collect about four tablespoons of blood, and that is placed inside of a canister. And then we're going to centrifuge that canister and it will separate out the various levels of your blood. We then pop them into the centrifuge and we spin them for 15 minutes. There we are, so three layers. Red cells at the bottom, that's the oxygen carrying cells plasma at the top, the yellow area, and then in the middle, that angled line, those are the cells we want. So what I'm going to do now is remove the plasma. And then through this separate portal, you will see the cells we want. And we just give a little shake to make sure they're all going to come up coming up the little tube, and that's enough. So that's, those are the cells we want. We're gonna collect that layer and place it in a second canister. We then centrifuge that a second time that further concentrate yeah. the anti-inflammatory proteins we're trying to collect. And you end up with about two and a half milliliters that are injected into your knee. So now what I'm going to do is put some special cleaning solution on your knee. This will clean the skin to reduce the risk of there being any bugs drawn into the knee. There we are, number one. Perfect, well done. This is a product which looks like it produces a sustained improvement in patient symptoms than current painkillers or injections. The research shows that if you take 10 patients, unfortunately about two people out of that 10 won't see much of a benefit, but eight out of 10 do see a benefit. Most importantly, however, about seven out of 10 patients can see a very significant reduction in their pain at three years. So the research out there is starting to become 
much better and quite encouraging about it. Um, and a three year re reduction in your symptoms, if we can achieve that, will be great. All right? I really like this injection because it has provided me with another option, which five or six years ago I didn't have. Prior to that, it was just take painkillers, perhaps lose some weight, and wait until you were old enough to have a knee replacement. Now I can give people an injection which can really provide them with quite a lot of pain relief, enabling them to live their lives for quite a while um, before surgery is necessary.